USDAA is now announcing they will no longer hold events in states banning transgender men from competing in women's sports. The NCAA dubbed the laws designed to protect the integrity and fairness in women's sports. Well, they call it discriminatory. In a release statement to the NCAA by the NCAA, the Board of Governors firmly and unequivocally supports the opportunity for transgender student athletes to compete in college sports. What planet do they live on? The NCAA now believes their more inclusive policy requiring, are you ready for this? Testosterone suppression treatment for trans women must somehow perfectly level the average height, weight, muscle, and bone density advantage of a biological male, which it will not. You realize what they're doing? They're going to reduce the amount of testosterone in these men competing as women. So even the ACLU is now making it clear they're on the side of NCAA. Any state that strays from the woke liberal path will suffer financially, basically says the ACLU. Quote, discriminating against trans youth is wrong, against the law, and costly. Nothing like making a giant problem out of something that probably doesn't happen very often. More than 24 states are proposing debating or currently advancing legislation that requires athletes to compete in the category of their assigned birth gender. Now that makes sense to me. Go figure, it's red states doing this. I want to now welcome in my panel, president of the Red Renaissance Pack, Kim Klasik is here, also with us, attorney and Republican strategist Aaron Elmore. Kim, Aaron, great to have you both back on the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having me. me. All right, Kim, why don't you take this away here? Um, they want to reduce the testosterone. This is how far they're going to go in the men competing as women. This makes absolutely no sense. I don't know why we're even focused on this. I mean, I played soccer when I was in college, and I know for a fact that I would never, ever want to compete against biological men um, because, of course, as we know, you can try to reduce the levels of testosterone all you want. Uh, biological men are just stronger, and, and that's what it comes down to. Um, I think it's interesting, though, because they're saying that they're not going to have these sports being played in these states. Well, it's the red states that are actually open so that these sports can be viewed in person. Um, so at some point in time, they're going to run out of states to even do this in. Uh, but this is what we're dealing with right now. You know, the woke ism is taking over. Uh, the liberals have ruined absolutely everything from social media to television to sports. And so that's where we're at. You know, Aaron, I I'm with Kim on saying it's, it, it always is like a pit in my stomach every time I have to cover these stupid stories. But the reason we do it is because this is the direction America is headed on so many fronts. But I really say to you, Aaron, what have we come to that this is the direction we're going that we think it's fair for men to compete against women? I mean, we went from the future is female to males and female sports real fast. This is going to prohibit women from being on the medal podium. It's going to prevent them from getting college scholarships, recognition that they deserve. You briefly spoke in your introduction about all of the differences biologically between men and women. Another one is lung capacity. I believe it was Prager U that did a great thing about track stars. The most famous and well-regarded female Olympic track star wouldn't even medal compared to these male athletes. It's very, very sad, and it's not right for women. Like I said, we used to hear from the left, the future is female, but liberalism is a disease of the mind, and they don't even know what they're saying anymore. They're just trying to outwoke each other to see how far left they can take America, and it's truly benefiting not men, not women, not trans athletes. It's benefiting no one. All right, so I wonder what would happen if they just did away with men's and female sports together and just said, okay, everybody plays one sport. Women, men, you try out for the, the basketball team. And guess what? No offense to women. There'd never be another woman playing a collegiate sport again. But this is the equivalent of what they're trying to do here. All right, I want to bring up uh, next, next topic. Brett Favre staying on the topic of sports. Finally, an athlete calling out the craziness of professional sports today. Listen to this. I think... Uh, both sides, uh, for the most part, want to see it just remain about the sport, not about politics. I want to watch players play, not what's going on outside of the game. And I think the, the general fan uh, feels the same way. Well, 
Let me tell you something. Brett Favre doesn't wear Levi's jeans that hate guns. He wears Wranglers, Kim Klasick. I love hearing that man talk right now. Yes, I am so glad that he's stepping up and being the voice of reason. And, and that's true. You know, people watch sports to get away from it all, right? If you want to watch the news or politics, you turn on Newsmax. People watch sports because they want to watch sports. And so I'm so glad he's speaking out. And I hope that more athletes do the same. You know, I've been waiting for a female uh, WNBA player to come up and say, look, like you said earlier, women are going to be basically out of this entire uh, movement, like uh, Aaron was saying, women first and, and sports, if we do not step up and start saying something. You know, there's an NBA and a WNBA is, for a reason. That is because we cannot play on the same team. Aaron, your message to pro athletes, if you can, in 15 seconds as I run out of time here. Shush. In the nicest way possible. If sports were doing so well with their wokeness, viewership would be through the roof. As Michael Jordan said, Republicans buy sneakers too. Leave your politics off the field, off the basketball court, off the metal podium. Shh. Respectfully. Well, great <laughs> advice from both you, Kim, and Aaron. Thank you so much, ladies, for coming on the program. As always, we'll see you again soon. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.